Hi, I'm Sammy Bartko. I'm here today to teach you how to do an airbrush cheetah. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit more of a fun, abstract, Cirque du Soleil type of style of cheetah. Um, I'm going to be using today um, BAM stencil number 3014. And the colors I will be using today will be uh, Pro Air White, uh, Pro Air Black, Pro Air purple and uh, pro air brown and then also I will be using chameleon's purple heart um, chameleon pure white and chameleon strong black and last but not least uh, fab metallic white um, white glitter and um, I'll also be using uh, low Cornell brushes I'll be using uh, sizes one and four, and then a low Cornell filbert. Alrighty, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm going to take my Pro Air White and put it into my Iwata Eclipse top feed, and just put a little bit of white in here. And then what I am going to do is take some Pro Air Brown and add that to the mix. So it'll make like a light white or a light brown. Uh, let's see here. So I'll just add that in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to mix that, I'm going to put my finger over the tip of the eye water brush and push down and pull back. And you'll hear it kind of bubbling in the cup. Once that gets kind of mixed in, I'm going to go ahead and test it on my arm. All right, and that's like the perfect color I want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cover my forehead and my cheeks and, and everything. And we're gonna create just like a nice even base. So now we'll take the Pro Air Brown and add just a little bit of it to the cup. And then we're gonna take our BAM stencil and we're gonna take the direction of the, the leopard spots and bring it down towards the nose in all areas, okay? So we're gonna start right here. Let's uh, mix that up first. Okay, now we got the brown going through. Let's go ahead and bring that in there. We're not going to do some crazy layering like I've done in past videos with the stencils like because we're going to be using a bunch of different colors. So we're going to add the Pro Air Purple to the cup. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did with the brown, but with the purple, and we're going to make them a little bit more bolder in color. Let's test it, make sure we get our purple flow, and there we go. Alrighty. Ooh, look how pretty. All right, let's put some purple in on the eyelids. Like that. We'll do it this side too. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a little bit and go right underneath the eye. Just a little. Okay. So can you see? There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to airbrush the muzzle, like right in here, like you do for like a regular face paint. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit more of a stronger white to the corners of the eyes. Okay, 
Um, yeah, it's kind of purple. So I didn't clean the gun out well enough, but you know what? It works for this piece, so. Okay, it's starting to look cheetah like. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go ahead and make sure it goes black. All right, here we go. We're going to take our BAM stencil one more time. And we're going to hit the temple area. And this we're going to kind of do the my fun little layering technique. All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of the black cheetah spots and bring it up over from this corner of the eye on both sides. So you have to close your eye. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is take my filbert brush and use my Purple Heart from Chameleon, which is a beautiful, beautiful metallic color that I love. And I'm going to use this on my lips. Okay, and I'm just going to line the bottom lip here. Alrighty. So now that that's lined, I'm going to take a baby wipe and wet the tip of my finger with the baby wipe. Then I'm going to take uh, Mama Clown's white fairy dust glitter, which is so pretty. And then I'm going to stick my finger on the tip of that and flick it over. And then I got a little circle of pretty glitter and put that on my bottom lip. And just press that in. Okay, all nice and shimmery. Alrighty, so now that that's done, I am going to take my number one low Cornell gold grip brush and use the Chameleon Strong Black and we're going to create the nose and the muzzle line. Okay, now that that's loaded, I'm going to go ahead and start with my nose. Okay, so I got, I don't have it completely done yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it down to this part right here. Okay, and they look even, so can you see that? Then what I'm going to do is take a very thin line and bring it down to the center of my lip. And kind of bring this into a point. Okay. Like that. Then I'm going to take and bring it down over here and line the top lip. Now I'm going to take the brush and go like on the corner of the lip and bring it out and drop it and then pull it up. Not all the way. You just want a really dainty line. Okay, 
we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Draw and hold up. Okay. Look cute. All right, so we're not bringing it all the way up like you would regular face painting because we want that really dainty, beautiful look. And we're just going to do some little dot. Well, actually, let's bring this over here. Let's fix the lips. And blend your lips into the lines you just did. And then we're going to do little dots. And you're going to do larger to smaller. And we'll do three rows of those. see those okay all right so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our glitter gold or I mean not the glitter gold but the the white glitter um, and go ahead and put a little bit of water in there and take your little sponge and don't put too much paint on it not a lot because you don't want it to completely cover what you did. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and lightly press on my eyelid. And it's good to do one at a time, not both, because you don't want the paint to dry. Okay. And just kind of feather that up. And the reason why I use this one is it's kind of translucent. So it doesn't cover everything you just did. And you're gonna take your uh, fairy glitter, fairy dust glitter, and do the same thing you did for the lips. Take that and then dab that on. And bring that up like that. And do the same thing for the other side. Okay, and just, you gotta make sure it's damp. Okay. Get the very dust glitter here, and we are almost done. We just gotta line the eye. Okay, like that. And then I'm gonna line the eye with my number four uh, little Cornell round with the Chameleon Strong Black. Because you want like that nice thick cat eye. And I'm going to start it over here in the corner of the eye. And bring it up. do the same thing with the other. Don't open your eye all the way because you don't want to get that line on the top lid and ruin that beautiful glitter. And then you're going to line underneath the eye. Like that. OK. 
Okay. Then what we can do is go ahead and take chameleon white, the pure white with your number four round. Okay, and you can do little white dots up here. Just to add a little extra detail, a little extra something something. <laughs> Okay, and let's do the other side. There we go. Okay, everyone, that concludes our tutorial for today. I hope you like the Cirque Soleil inspired type of cheetah. It was a lot of fun. It's using pink or it's using purple, glitter, all my favorite things. So thanks for stopping by and watching. Have a good day. Bye.